You talked um, a lot uh, about uh, child welfare, about kinship uh, care. Um, do you see, would you like to see the Cabinet for Family and Health Services uh, shift their sort of their fundamental operation uh, that has been in place for many, many, many years to, to a new model? The model that I want is one that is absolutely focused on the child more than anything else. That's the purpose in some measure. And not just the child, but those that are also as vulnerable, frankly, as children in some measure. They may be older. Mm. They may be infirmed in some way or another. But they're folks who need from society some help. We owe them. That is the purpose. The purpose is not those that work there to be taken care of first. The purpose is not to protect the bureaucracy. The purpose is not to give the perception that we're taking care of things. To me, it's outrageous that we have thousands of children in our foster system who could be adopted, who would like to be adopted, who should be adopted. We have millions of people in the Commonwealth, and we can't seem to get that done. We've made it too complicated, too convoluted. We've had bureaucracies and rules that have prevented this from happening. This is what I'd like to see change. To say that it has to happen this way or that way, we're working through it right now. Secretary Glisson is tremendous. She's incredible. She mm -hmm. really is. She's got a big task. There's over 8,000 employees in that cabinet. It's a lot of people, about 8,500 folks. So she's working through how best to come up with solutions. One of them is even the ways in which in that cabinet we get rid of things like forced overtime for those that are helping with certain things, not related to what we're talking about, but other things in that cabinet. This will help morale. I stopped by there at the Cabinet for Health and Family Services about a month ago, shortly after uh, I was elected. And I was told by people that I was the first governor who's ever gone in there. I don't know that that's true, but I heard it from multiple people who'd worked there for 20 plus years. They said they'd never seen a governor come into that building, never come and spoken to the people. I spoke downstairs to hundreds of people. They gathered, they're up above. It was great. And we talked for, and I answered questions for almost two hours. And it was excellent. And, and they appreciated it. And I think that kind of commitment to them will allow them to commit back in return. They will commit to the people of Kentucky. All the boats will rise on the tide. I'm excited by the possibility of how much better we're going to be four years from now. And you've also recognized uh, that social workers have been under a tremendous stress yes. and burden themselves, and yes. you're doing something about that. Exactly right. And again, it goes back to treating people with respect. It's the golden rule, Bill. I mean, you know it well. You treat people the way you want to be treated. Uh, if I were to work there, I'd want to be treated in that way. And so we're going to do that at every turn. And so when we asked people for input, we got thousands of responses, and you saw that we addressed some of those directly in my budget address. But there are many others that we've followed up with. Some of my cabinet secretaries have already reached out to some of the people in their cabinets that responded and, and have communicated with them. That makes people feel great. It makes them feel important. More people wrote that this made them feel like they mattered. It was, it was moving. It was, I was practically moved to tears as I read some of these emails that I feel important. I feel like my job matters. Thank you for treating me with dignity. I feel better about myself. I walked out today with an extra spark in my step. I mean, it's just the kinds of things people wrote made me feel great. I was so glad we'd asked people for their input, and we're going to keep doing it. Isn't that such a simple it is. matter? Yet look at the impact. Exactly. You treat people with dignity. It boils down to you treat people with dignity, they will in turn treat other people with dignity, and it becomes a circle and it keeps repeating on itself. It's like a perpetual motion machine.